Hello, in this video, I am going to go through data interoperability with Giraffe. Now, Giraffe models, this 3D thing here that you see on the screen is actually a GeoJSON. It's a GeoJSON file. GeoJSON is a text JSON, so JavaScript object notation, I think is what it is, file, that is an open source format for describing geospatial data. And we love it, and it's great and it's widely supported. And if you go to geojson.io, I think this website still kicks on, it does. And if I go to this and I copy to the clipboard and I come and I just delete all of that and I paste, you can see that on this other website, I'm getting the exact same data in the same place next to Hyde Park. There's Hyde Park there, uh, copy pasted from one to the other because JavaScript, because JSON is text, it's just text. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this thing in QGIS. I'm going to export it as a GeoJSON, which sends me off to the server. And then there it is, Giraffe 355-1. And now if I open up QGIS, I am going to go to my download folder. And I'm just going to drag, I'm just going to drag that file that I just downloaded onto the screen of QGIS. Now QGIS, $0, incredible software. Uh, in GIS, Geometry type is super important. So I'm just going to import the polygons. And there it is. Okay. And it looks the same. Those three sort of staggered rectangles. And if I drag the open street map underneath, make sure it goes, geez, it's slow, sorry. Make sure it goes underneath. I'll turn that top one off. There's Hyde Park, right? So it's geolocated. And if we want to style it, go to the symbology. I uh, will go categorized and we'll cat and we'll style it by uh, usage. There it is. And we'll classify. And in giraffe, commercial is uh, light blue. And okay. And community is an orange. Okay. Okay. And retail is a blue, is a, is a deeper blue. And that's not like that. Okay. Okay, now you can see there's some other random stuff there. There's some leader, uh, uh, but if we do that, there's the light blue commercial, there's the orange community. And if I go back to giraffe, there's the light blue commercial, there's the orange community. Those are the usages, those are the usages. So the metadata is coming through to QGIS, the areas, it's geolocated. It was a simple download and drag in. And now I'm gonna show you something cool. Uh, I've got Speckle, Speckle QGIS installed, and I'm going to search for some streams. And I'm going to use this A93D08, okay. And A93, all right. And I'm going to select the layer I want to send up, which is not OpenStreetMap, it's this, one giraffe 355 that's this one over here. And I'm going to go send. I'm going to send it. And I've got a little spiral, hopefully you saw that. Come back to Chrome. Open speckle, get back to my streams. Uh, new stream, no, all stream streams. Okay, refresh, come on. I just did something, there we go, this test. Okay, sent, sent object from QGIS less than a minute ago. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. And boom, boom, there it is. Okay, so a lot of janking because what's happening here, this is a flat. There was a lot, there's a lot of Z fighting going on there because these are actually flat geometries. They're just polygons stacked on top of each other because it's a GIS file. But all the metadata will be there and the metadata includes, and let's look at the metadata in QGIS. We'll open the attribute table and look at all this data that Giraffe sends out, tons of it, too much of it almost. But there's some very interesting things. Sorry, you can't see the top of that. No, I can't see the bottom of that. This is great video editing here it is base height height and base elevation so you can see the base height and the height of every geometry so you can use an extrude command in Revit or Rhino to move these things into the right um, the right Z the right height and that's how you convert the flat polygons into volumes 3d or 2.5d volumes and of course we're also pushing out the floor to floor height as well as the number of levels so you have all the information that you need in order to reconstruct this geometry in the package of your choice available to you. And 
What's even better than that is from Speckle, you can just flick it to whatever. You know, if you have the Revit, Rhino, whatever, you can just pull this geometry down and then reconstruct it. Grasshopper.